It may not be perfect, but it's on my spirit. I have a feeling, yeah, I have a feeling, I have a feeling, yeah, I have a feeling, we about to be free. about to be free we about to be free yeah we about to be free I got a feeling yeah I got a feeling I got a feeling, yeah, I got a feeling, we about to be free, oh yeah, we about to be free, we about to be free. Yeah, we about to be free. I have a feeling. Yeah, I have a feeling. I have a feeling. Yeah, I have a feeling. It's like so deep with Emmy. <laughs> oh my God, bro. See, people don't understand. You know, they took our land, okay? This was our land, bro. And they came over here and they just raped, robbed, murdered, pillaged. The baby boomers that are over here on this land are the descendants thereof. You know, many of these people, they're callous against us. They don't care that they're foreigners on our land. <laughs> they look down on us. You know, we've all been lied to. You know, you've been taught that your forefathers brung us from Africa on slave ships. Saved us from swinging on trees in the jungles, okay? You were blatantly lied to, all right? They knew where they were when they came to this land. This was India Superior, okay? We were the original architects and the freaking engineers, all right? Pretty much everything that this world considers popular, they get from our people. Like, with pride, you guys disregard us so much, and yet you think you're Christians. Like, oh my God, it is so asinine. How can you sit there and say that you love God and you love Jesus when you disregard his people? The scripture tells you that they who bless them will be blessed, but they that curse them will be cursed. Well, you haven't seen your cursing yet. You've been seeing the beginnings of it, but you ain't seen it full blessed yet. But it's coming. It's here. It's on the horizon. Okay? And it's getting ready to overtake you. And, and you're going to be asking yourself why. And we are here to proclaim these things to you. We're here to give you the answers in which you seek, okay? We're the living witnesses upon this earth, okay? So when you have questions about this world and all of that, 
you know, versus the living power, you know, because everything about this world is the ideology of men, okay? That came from mortal men, all right? But when you want the wisdom of the Holy Spirit by way of the Holy Spirit, you want to come to his people that are walking in obedience, okay? And the word that you get from us is not going to be anywhere near what you're hearing from those who set themselves up in authority as your leaders, okay? <laughs> because they hate you. Your leaders hate you, but I love you. I want as many of you to be saved as possible. Ain't nobody saved right now. You Christians are asinine. You sit there, oh my God, <laughs> on so many different levels. On so many different levels. Lord have mercy. Oh my God. You say you love. <clears throat> yeah, you, <laughs> you walk in pride. You're in arrogance. You're stomping on another people's land. And you're hoarding their resources. You know, you don't, you don't even see how you have helped to disenfranchise us. You literally think that you had no hand in our downfall or our continued um, state of existence physically, okay? Like, you act like you have no hand in that. None of your responsibility whatsoever. You don't want to take accountability for your part in maintaining this system against us. Okay? Now, when we get down to the nitty-gritty, just you speaking out about it at least is a step. But many of you are complacent with it. And when you're complacent with it, that means that you're complicit. And when you're complicit, that means that you take part in the guilt thereof. That's why you don't want, quote, CRT being taught in the school. You don't want to come to the realization that is, in fact, not a theory. But the truth. You are on our land. Do you not comprehend? Look at the state that we're in. Physically. How we have been reduced to the ghettos. Majority of us, okay? I am not talking about the handful that sold out to this system by any means necessary, okay? I'm talking about the victims of this system that they did to the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, okay? You want us to ignore that. You want us to be silent on that. You ignore most of my posts that I put out about that. You remain silent on that. But yet you know what I say is the absolute truth. Why would you not speak up? Why are you complacent with their mistreatment of the very people that were already here when your forefathers immigrated and took for themselves what they wanted, raped, robbed, pillaged, and just destroyed us and our land? And you look down upon us in arrogance. Like you're just the most greatest nation upon the face of the earth. Well, this 
is written in scripture that you would do this and that you would be this way toward us. And then you say we are not the people in the land where they say you are not the people. There we shall be established and they shall say you are the children of the living power. In my current circumstances, I have zero dollars in my checking account. I have zero dollars on my cash app. Well, the last time I checked, well, it's the 24th, and I have not been stalking my cash app. I'll go look right now, real time. Right now, it's 1046 a.m., and it's 8-24-2023. I was actually in the middle of compelling this video, Gaslighted All My Life. Okay, I was really trying to get it done today. <clears throat> this has to be a podcast. Ugh. I forgot to take my phone off the charger. <clears throat> so, because the only thing that was on my mind today was the Father as I, you know, woke up praising the Father like I do every single day. But people don't know that. They don't truly know my heart. But my Father knows my heart. Oh, yes, He does. Oh, yes, He does. That's how I can trust in the Most High, no matter what happens in my life, okay? And that's why I'm at peace. Because a clear conscience brings peace. And I didn't even know that. Okay? Until the other day. You know? I ran into this. Like, a clear conscience brings peace. Yeah. Zero on my cash app. Zero. The last donation that I had was from someone, I, I cannot say the name because I haven't been given the okay to say the name, but they donated $20, which I really appreciated it, and that was donated on August 8th, two days before my birthday, and um, yeah, bro, zero dollars to my name with a handful of pennies. Okay, that's what I have to my name. I, I am worth zero dollars in this world. According to this world, that's how much money I got to my name. I don't worship money. Not anymore, now that I come into the understanding of what, what it is, the mark of the beast, okay? And we are all forced to worship the beast. Okay? You just don't understand. You just didn't understand what it meant. Most of you evangelical pastors, you disregard us. That's why you have no understanding. You're looking to a counterfeit land and a counterfeit people. You're listening to the very people that stole our records. And have lied to the whole damn world. They make covenants with one another. They are a confederate. Okay? Psalms 83. Look it up and read it. I'm sick and tired, bro. <clears throat> I'm tired. I know what the Father has given to me. And no matter what it looks like physically, I am to trust in my Maker. Because I'm nothing more than the clay. I'm just the clay. He is my Maker. And it is what it is, bro. <laughs> it is what it is. 
if I happen to lose internet, there's other things that I already have set in my mind um, that I that I'm gonna do. Okay. Um, I'm not worried about it because I know that my father is gonna establish me in his timing. In his timing, and I'm cool with that. I'm okay with that. No matter what happens in my life, I am in the hands of the living power. Shalom.